फ्रेंड्स आई हैव डिस्कस्ड कंसेप्ट ऑफ पैसेंजर कार यूनिट एंड इट्स यूटिलिटी इन ए मिक्स ट्रैफिक सिचुएशन इन माय अर्लियर वीडियो एंड टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी शैल डिस्कस ए न्यू कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्ट्रीम इक्वलेंसी फैक्टर व्हिच वाज डेवलप्ड ड्यूरिंग रिसर्च वर्क एट आईआईटी रुड़की एंड लेटर इट वाज इंक्लूडेड इन द इंडियन हाईवे कैपेसिटी मैनुअल आल्सो इट इज एन अल्टरनेट to pcu which are generally used or derived for indivisible type of vehicle here we can determine the equivalency factor for the entire traffic stream and then we can convert mixed traffic in vehicle per hour to flow in pcu per hour by multiplying the flow by this factor and before i explain this concept let us have a brief recap of pcu factors PCU factors or equivalency factors are needed because traffic is of mixed type and it is not not it is not uniform physical characteristics of different types of vehicles are different operating conditions are also different and there is no lane discipline on the road and all these factors we have discussed in my another video that is on concept of passenger car unit the if you see the lane discipline in a heterogeneous traffic conditions in western countries and mixed traffic without a lane discipline see the difference here one thing we should realize is that traffic in all countries including us and europe is of mixed traffic mixed nature but the degree of heterogeneity varies from one country to another country you can see this is the traffic of all cars which we call the homogeneous traffic this is heterogeneous traffic where you have very few heavy vehicles and 98% are passenger cars in india types of vehicles are many and they all use same roadway space creating a very complex operating conditions and when you express volume or capacity in vehicles per hour it does not indicate actual traffic condition on the road and therefore it is a common practice to convert all vehicles into equivalent number of passenger car by using a multiplying factor and that multiplying factor is called the pcu factor or passenger car unit factor so pcu is used to express volume or capacity in a single unit uniform unit this concept was introduced in 1965 heavy capacity manual of us and that was only for trucks after that good research has been done after publication of scm 1965 manual and many methods have been evolved during the last 6 decades various organizations have given different definitions of pcu for example heavy capacity manual in 1965 first defined pcu as the number of passenger cars displayed in the traffic flow by a truck or a bus under prevailing roadway and traffic conditions in 9, in 2010 it was redefined by transportation research board as the number of passenger cars which will result in the same operational condition as a single heavy vehicle of a particular type under specified roadway traffic and control conditions so this definition was slightly elaborated in 2010 which include the operational conditions also another definition was given by trrl in 1965 and it defines pcu as at on any particular section of road under prevailing traffic conditions if the addition of one vehicle of a particular type per hour will reduce the average speed of the remaining vehicles by the same amount as the addition of say x cars of average size per hour then one vehicle of this type is equivalent to x pcu so speed was taken as a criteria to define passenger car unit for different types of vehicles for mixed traffic conditions the indonesian highway capacity manual has defined pcu as a conversion factor for different vehicle types with regard to their impact on capacity as compared to passenger car so here measure of effectiveness is the capacity now in all these definitions one point is common and that is the impact of each vehicle type on traffic operations and 
There are several methods which are available in literature to determine PCU factors and all these methods we have discussed in a separate video. You can watch that video on concept of passenger car unit. In the equation used in Indian Highway Capacity Manual is the one which I proposed in 1994 during my research work at University of Turkey, now IIT Turkey. This equation is given by this equation is like this that PCU for I type of vehicle is the speed ratio of car with respect to vehicle type I divided by area ratio of car and vehicle type I. And as I told you, this equation was used to devise PCU factors for different types of vehicles during development of Indo Highway Capacity Manual also. This equation looks to be simple, but it is not that simple because speed is influenced by several factors of traffic stream and also of geometry and therefore the PCU here is of dynamic nature. The based on this PCU depends upon the speed of a vehicle type with respect to car and as I told you speed can be influenced by geometry, traffic composition, traffic volume and many other factors and therefore Indian Highway Capacity Malware provides a table a range of PCU factor for each vehicle type and these are the examples which I have taken from Indian Highway Capacity Manual for single lane road a set of PCU factors here and for intermediate and two lane roads a set of PCU factor but for each type of vehicle PCU is in a particular range it is not a constant value and the manual also provides how these values are to be interpolated. The as I told you, the PCU will depend upon traffic volume and traffic composition and therefore these PCU factors were evaluated for the traffic composition as given in this table. For two lane intermediate lane road for example, the standard car is 6 to 30 percent, big car 5 to 16 percent, motorized two wheeler 17 to 64 percent and so on. So the PCU factors which are given in Indian Highway Capacity Manual are valid for this traffic composition. And the manual also provides a procedure of determining PCU for any traffic composition or any proportion of a particular type of vehicle in the traffic stream. Now this concept of stream equivalency factor was introduced in Highway Capacity Manual that is defined as the flow in PCU per hour divided by flow in vehicles per hour. And that was the concept that rather than determining PCU for each type of vehicle individually, is it possible to determine the equivalency factor for the entire traffic stream? Here the, this K factor is an overall equivalency factor for the entire traffic stream. So if you know this value, you simply multiply the flow in vehicle per hour and you get the flow in PCU per hour. So naturally this factor K will depend upon traffic volume and traffic composition. And naturally the value of K will be large for traffic stream having high proportion of vehicles which are larger than standard car and a smaller proportion and smaller for a traffic stream with more number of small vehicles. Now if you make a plot between flow in PCU per hour and flow in vehicle per hour and if you have a large amount of data this will be like this you have a cloud of data and here if you try to fit a equation between these two you get an equation like this PCU in the, the flow in PCU per hour is equal to 1.3 into flow in vehicles per hour but as you can see here the, the data are very scattered and the reliability of this equation is very poor and it is because this sequency factor will depend upon the traffic composition and traffic volume both and therefore this k factor was related with traffic volume and traffic composition using this equation k is equal to 1 plus summation of ai into pi plus an into 1 upon n where pi is the proportion of ith type of vehicle in the traffic stream other than standard car and ai is a coefficient of proposed model 
a n is also a model and n is a traffic volume on the road so you can see here that the k factor depends upon the proportion of individual type of vehicles and total traffic volume on the road so these equations were suggested in indian highway capacity manual to calculate stream equivalency factor a single equation for two lane and intermediate lane roads and k is equal to 1 plus 0.15 into proportion of bc minus this proportion of two wheeler proportion of auto proportion of lcv proportion of buses tat proportion of two axle trucks proportion of tractor trailer proportion of multi axle trucks and traffic volume and another equation for single lane road now similar equations are suggested for multi lane road also for four lane six lane in the indian highway capacity manual of 2018 now how this equation is to be used let us take one example suppose on a two lane road the traffic volume hourly traffic volume is given in this table a standard car big car two wheeler auto lcv bus two, two axle truck multi axle truck and tractor trailer and these are the number and these are the composition and as i told you the psu factors for two lane road as given in indian highway capacity manual is like this and this is the range of traffic composition for which these psu factors have been estimated so now for example for big car the range is 1.13 to 2.5 and it varies from 5 to 16% and therefore you have to find out the psu factor when the proportion of big car is 6.3 so that is to use the interpolation for 5% big car psu factor is 1.13 and for 16% 2.25 and therefore for 6.3% you can calculate psu factor using this equation and that is 1.29 similarly you can determine psu factor by interpolation for other types of vehicles also so then you can convert this mixed traffic flow into equivalent number of psu per hour by using their psu factor so 1 1.29 2.8 these are the psu factor calculated using method of interpolation and once you multiply these by their number in the traffic stream then you get the flow in psu and that total flow is 786 psu per hour now this is one method of determining flow in psu per hour that you determine the psu factor for individual vehicle type using the table given in highway capacity manual or using some field data on speed and area and then convert the stream into equivalent number of passenger car unit the second method is to use the stream equivalency factor for two lane road equation is like this that k is equal to 1 plus 0.15 into bc now this pbc is given here that is 6.3 so pbc will be 0.063 two wheeler 47% auto 6.3% lcv 4.8% that is given the question and total flow is 608 vehicles per hour so that is n now if you determine this k factor using this equation you get 1 plus 0.15 into 0.063 minus 0.702 into 0.47 plus 0.204 into 0.063 and so on you carry on this calculation and you get the value of k as 1.48 and if you multiply this by the the traffic volume in vehicles per hour you get the flow in psu equal to 900 vehicles per hour so that is a simple method of converting flow from vehicle per hour to psu per hour so that is the flow in psu per hour so friends there can be several methods of estimating psu for a vehicle but their accuracy will always be unquantified as there are no base values to validate them and that is the reason why there are several methods in literature to determine psu factors thank you very much for watching this video you can give your suggestions in the comment box